Um, what we're going to work on in this segment is a little bit about color theory, how to adjust color. Um, we make a lot of different pigmented powders in a lot of colors that are already in the wood family, the brown tones, um, that are very easy to use. But with these three colors and with a white and a black uh, toner pigments, we should be able to make just about any color. So we're going to go ahead and put some pigment out here on the the card and just do a little uh, color blending and I'll be able to show you very easily how we can adjust and move color. So we have yellow is one of the primary colors. These colors are very intense we don't need a lot of material to work with. I always like to tap the lid of that jar as I'm unscrewing it to knock off any. Red is a very powerful color. All these primaries are very strong, powerful colors. So we have our yellow and our red, and now we're going to put a little bit of blue out. A simple way to uh, to think about color is if you have a color printer, there are only three colors in that printer. There's red, yellow, and blue. And from those three colors, we can make just any shade of color. Now, it'll have a black in there, um, and black is considered a toner or a tone. I'm just going to put a little bit of uh, lacquer on my brush here. We're going to pick up just a little bit of yellow, and we're going to go halfway in between the red, the yellow and the red, and we're going to make a spot here. And you'll be able to see how intense that color is. I'm going to clean my brush out a little here, and I'm going to pick up about the same amount of red. Now we're picking up orange, so halfway between uh, equal parts of the yellow and equal parts of the red will give us an orange. This is a secondary color. These are primaries, and this is a secondary color. Now we're going to do the same thing with the blue and the yellow. We'll take some of the yellow. Pick up a little bit of the blue. And we have green. So understanding how colors move is very important and how to adjust color. I'll take a little bit of the red. A little bit of the blue. We'll come up with a violet, a uh, deep purple. And in the world of touch-up, uh, touch-up is all about color. How to move color, how to adjust color. If we look at this as a color wheel, and you can pull up a color wheel online on a multitude of websites, go to the art store, get a color wheel, what you're going to see is the primary colors are yellow, red, blue. Any two primary colors can make a secondary color. Now where this is important in touch-up is if we have a panel that appears too red and our touch-up appears too red, the easiest way to neutralize that red is to go straight across the color wheel to green. And green is what we would add to a color to, to soften or mute the red. If a color is too yellow, we go straight across the color wheel to the purple uh, or the violet and that will neutralize the yellow or cool down that 
that color. I also like to think of colors in two hemispheres. We have the warm colors, and I like to remember those as the sun, as fire, uh, things that are warm. And then, as an, another mental note, cool colors are the purples, the blues, the greens, water, grass, that type of thing. So when you look at a color and you're trying to decide what you need to add to achieve the end result that you need, you might think of it in those terms. It makes it very easy. The other major thing in touch-up that, that we look at is color intensity. The, the intensity of the color has a, a lot to do with what we can, uh, how we can achieve the color we want. A lot of times we'll put down a very thin layer of color. For instance, this yellow, we may want to put down a very diluted film of yellow. It's still the same yellow, the same color, it's just been reduced and diluted. So we can achieve uh, a lot of different effects with that. So think of color in a couple of ways, not only solid color, but also reduced or less intense colors.